Yeah, we have. We were fortunate to have a, a first round home game and then have been had to be on the road uh, the second and third game of this playoff run. I think the thing that's really special about this week in particular is uh, it's the first ever CIF championship for our program and our school um, in, in the sport of football. And so to be able to do that at home, uh, to do it Thanksgiving weekend where you get a lot of you know, alumni and, and folks around coming home for the holidays, I think it's a phenomenal opportunity for our program and our school to have just a packed house and a lot of people and, and our kids to play in front of. Um, you know, that kind of environment I think would be um, really special on top of just playing for a championship, to, but, but it, to a chance to do that in front of uh, a hometown crowd being, you know, uh, one of two teams in our county that are playing for a CF championship. I'm hoping for a lot of support um, in the stands uh, Saturday night. Just think we're really comfortable being in pressure situations and I don't think it really phases us and I think we really got motivated in the second half just to keep going and keep fighting and eventually come back and win because we didn't want that to be our last game. Well, since we've been here so long, everybody really knows what they're doing. So the practice has just gone by really fast, but everybody's got more of like a, a winning mindset, I would say. And uh, yeah, the coaches have been making it fun because, you know, every game could be our, every practice could be our last practice for the year. So everybody's just making it fun and making the most out of it. I think our team, uh, we, we've been talking about as a coaching staff um, amongst ourselves and also to the kids about how we knew we had a lot of talent this year. Uh, we have a strong senior class. We're very senior heavy. We've got a ton of seniors. And then we have juniors uh, that uh, we knew could play. And early on, I think it was just a matter of um, them growing into those roles that, that we had for them. And I think uh, our uh, <clears throat> kind of growth over the season has really been punctuated by uh, a strong senior class that has played a lot of games, has a lot of experience, and then juniors um, and some seniors that um, didn't play as much last year really growing into roles that they have. And so now at this point in the season, especially this deep in the postseason, we have a lot of kids that really know what their role is and know what, the, what they're responsible for and what they're being counted on for. Um, and we have a good amount of depth, especially for a high school program our size, where um, most of our kids are not asked to do a lot of different things. They kind of have a role in that. And so um, we knew we had talent. It was more about the preparation and the, and the continued growth. And we've been able to realize that lately. And I think it shows in the way that we're playing. Yeah, it's been amazing. I'm so proud of everyone on my team. Everyone's been working so hard. I mean, we've had these goals since we were freshmen, to beat Ventura, go to CIF, win league, and it's just finally all falling in place. And yeah, I'm just super excited and happy that this is happening. Anytime there's like things that are done, that's the first time in program history, um, there's gonna be some pretty special players. Um, and I think, you know, it takes a lot you know, not to diminish um, the, the contribution of, of the kids in any way, but, you know, it takes a lot for things to go right. I mean, um, the way that, that the schedule works out and the way that, you know, um, teams that we've played and all that kind of stuff, we've had some things go our way. And But I think the biggest credit is this group of kids have, have proven to be incredibly resilient this season. We fought through a lot of adversity. I mean, the COVID stuff in and of itself adds a whole nother layer of, of complexity to um, sports teams, especially teams as large as football programs, just because um, we, you know, we would miss kids here and there in certain times, um, including in our playoff run. And so that has caused kids to step up. And so this senior class has, has handled that incredibly well um, and been pretty steady through that, um, as well as those juniors stepping up when we needed them to. So all in all, the kids, I think, it's just a really a testament to their ability to, to fight through adversity in this case. And uh, they've responded well um, in the face of, uh, of, of struggles. We expect a lot of people here, like more than usual. So it's gonna be sort of like a Bonaventura game, we think. So we also gotta come prepared, have another great week of practice and have fun most of all.